Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to spend time reading Tomas Rivera, and this is in our Lesson 19 anchor text. And we are reading in our California Journeys, Grade 1, Unit 4, textbook. So, this is Jane Medina, and she was a teacher and a writer just like Tomas Rivera. And she started writing when she was a teenager. And she can write in both Spanish and English. And this is the lady who drew all the pictures and colored them that are in this book. So all these illustrations, Renee King Moreno did. And when she was a young girl, she loved to draw and paint. And she also loved going to the library. He loved going to the library. And so, she, like him, she loves going there, or loved going there, and she studied art in school. And so, now she just makes money by illustrating children's books. And speaking of libraries, let's have a look at this card. This boy and these children over here, these girls, they're at a library. And, you know, a library is a place where people go to check out books. And so it looks like he's reading this book to see if he wants to take it home, if he wants to borrow it. And these girls are also reading. They're probably wanting to see if they want to check out those books. And I don't see a librarian in this picture, but a librarian works in a library, and she helps the people find the books they want to read. Um, I think that's all we'll, we'll do with this one. So let me go ahead and read this. We're going to be asking some questions at the end. Okay, Tomas Rivera. It's by Jane Medina, and it's illustrated by Rene King Moreno. Tomas Rivera was born in Texas. Tomas and his family went from place to place picking crops. Okay, so crops are like fruits and vegetables, um, grains, and they pick them. Like maybe they are picking some strawberries or tomatoes right now. Tomas helped pick crops all day. It was a lot of work. When the work was done, Tomas would talk with his grandpa. So, when do they work? Well, they work all day. And when, and when, when they're working, or when the work's done, actually, that's when Grandpa and Tomas would talk. And there's Grandpa. Come quick, Grandpa called. It's time for stories. So, they don't have any TV or internet or anything like that, Nintendo games. So they're going to go tell stories, and Grandpa's going to tell them. You tell the best stories, Tomas said. I wish I could tell great stories, too. So his grandpa had a talent for storytelling, it looks like. The next day, Grandpa said, We can get lots of stories for you, Tomas. When? asked Tomas. Quick, hop in, Grandpa said with a wink. I will show you. Grandpa drove the truck up the road. So it looks like as soon as the Grandpa found out that Tomas wished that he could tell great stories too, it looks like the next day he's going to show him a place where he can get lots of stories, and it is a library. See all those books? Those books have stories in them. This is a library, said Grandpa. Look at all the books, gasped Tomas. Read all you can, Tomas. It will help you think of lots of stories, said Grandpa. So now that the grandpa knows he wants to be a great storyteller, he is letting him go to the library to read all those stories. So now he'll, he's going to be able to tell those stories and then some of his own. 
Look at him. He's got all these books out. I think he loves the library. There were lots of books for Tomas to read. Some were funny and made him laugh. He read about boats, trains, and cars. He dreamed of space. Soon Tomas was thinking of his own stories. Tomas began telling his stories, then he wrote them on paper. Look at he so he's thinking of some stories, his own imagination. He's thinking of stories. These are inspiring him. And he's writing them on paper to share with his family so he doesn't forget these cool stories. When he was a grown up, Tomas got a job as a teacher. He still wrote stories. Okay, so he has different jobs. He started off picking crops, and now he's working in a school teaching children. And, and it says that he's still writing stories. Tomas Rivera's stories tell about people picking crops, just as his family did. Lots of people read his books. So he's such a fantastic storyteller that people want to go buy his, his stories. Now his name is on a big library. It says Tomas Rivera Library. Many people go to the library. They get books, just as Tomas did. Okay. That, by the way, is a biography. A biography is a story that tells about someone's life. Okay, so it says, how did Tomas get ideas for the stories he wrote? Do you remember? So he got them from the books in the library that he was reading. From those, he gathered inspiration for his own stories. What did Tomas learn from his grandpa? So you remember his grandpa was an amazing storyteller? Well, monkey see, monkey do. He learned how to tell amazing stories too. I don't know which one of these is Tomas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that one, it might be that one. What did you learn about the past from this selection? Okay, well, I learned that families, including children. There's Tomas. So now I answer my question. That's, that's Tomas. So families, including grandpas and kids, would you, used to have to pick crops all day. Huh, what else did I learn? I learned that when you don't watch TV and play Nintendo all day, that you have time to tell stories. What else did I learn? Okay, we learned about libraries and how you they have all different kinds of books there with all different kinds of stories that you can learn from and make your own stories from. And that I learned that I learned that he in his life he was a crop picker and a teacher and a writer. Wow, he must be proud of himself and his family too. So I learned lots of things from that selection. Okay, boys and girls, hope you enjoyed our day one read of Tomás Rivera.